Welcome to our lesson on sketching cubic graphs. So in this lesson, we're going to sketch a cubic graph by finding its roots. But we need to remember the properties of cubic graphs. And we can see we've got y is equal to x cubed. And we can see that when x is a positive value, so going along here, y is also a positive. So as x increases, so does y, as the curve is going upward. And you can see it rises very quickly. And this is called an exponential growth because you're multiplying a number by itself three times. And in the fourth quadrant, we can see now when x is a negative value, y is also a negative value. So this is decreasing at the same rate as this is increasing. And if we move on to y is equal to negative x cubed, now we can see that when x is a negative, y is a positive. And on the other half, when x is a positive, y is a negative. And this will help us understand the shape of more complicated cubics later on. Okay, so let's move on to sketching cubic graphs. So to sketch a cubic graph, we need to find the values of x when y is equal to 0. And these will give us the coordinates along here. These are called our roots. And we need to find the values of y when x is equal to 0. And this will give us the coordinate along the y-axis. And this is called our intercept. So we'll begin by finding our roots. So we'll write the equation where y is equal to 0. And this is x multiplied by x minus 1 multiplied by x minus 3. And because we're multiplying each polynomial, anything times 0 is 0. So our solutions are when this x equals 0, or when this polynomial equals 0, so x will equal 1, or when this polynomial equals 0, so x will equal 3. Now we can plot these coordinates on our axes. So now we're going to find the value along the y-axis. So we'll substitute in x is equal to 0. So y is 0. Lots of 0, minus 1, and lots of 0, negative 3. And anything times 0 is 0, so y is equal to 0. But now the question is, does our graph go up and then down and then back up again? Or does it go the other way? Down and then back down again? Well, if we consider the x terms, we have x multiplied by x multiplied by x, which is x cubed. And we know that y equals x cubed looks like this. So the graph will start in this quadrant here. So we know the red curve will be the accurate sketch of this equation, which we can see properly here. Okay, let's try another question. So do you want to try and sketch this cubic equation yourself? Remember to find the values along the y-axis, the values along the x-axis, and the shape of a graph. You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So we'll begin by finding the roots, which is when y equals 0. So each bracket will equal 0. So this polynomial will be when x equals 2. And this one when x equals negative 1. And this one when x is equal to positive 1. We can mark these along the x-axis. We can work out our intercept when x equals 0. So we have y is negative 2 multiplied by 1 multiplied by negative 1. So y is equal to positive 2, which we can plot here. So now you can see because we've got a positive x cubed term, the cubic will look something like this. And we can see the real cubic here. Okay, let's try another question. So this question is slightly different to our previous ones because now we have a linear multiplied by a quadratic. So to work out our roots when y equals 0, we need to factorize this quadratic here. So we have y is equal to x minus 2 
lots of x minus 3 and x plus 1. So when y is equal to 0, this solution is at positive 2, this one is at positive 3, and this one is at negative 1. Our intercept, when x is equal to 0, we have y is equal to negative 2 multiplied by negative 3 multiplied by positive 1, so y is equal to 6. And because we have x multiplied by x multiplied by x, we have a positive x cubed, so a graph will look like this. And we can see the real graph here. Okay, let's try one more question. So in this question, we've been given the graph and we've been asked to work out the equation. So we're going to work the problem backwards. We know when y is equal to zero, we have our root at negative one, positive two, and positive three. So our polynomials will be x plus one, x minus two, and x minus 3. And then all we're going to do is expand the brackets. And we'll begin by working out this. So we have x squared minus 2x plus x minus for 2. We can simplify this. So we have x squared minus x minus 2. And we'll multiply it by our third bracket. We'll expand these brackets out. And now we can collect the like terms. So finally, we can see that b is equal to negative 4, c is equal to 1, and d is equal to 6. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again, and take care.